It's time. Meet me tonight at midnight, inside the red building at the south end of the forest. I will make you beautiful. Hmm, it's almost midnight. But I haven't been able to find a red building yet. I wish we could have spoken face to face at the CPC headquarters instead of meeting out here like this. But it's okay. The least I can do is properly explain things to them. I started receiving their notes huh? after I was asked during Prez's lecture if there was anything I wanted to learn about. I... I want to learn... how to be beautiful. But a lot has changed since then. And even though I still don't have it fully down yet, I think I have all the answers I need for now. And if it's a makeover they have planned for me, I think I've had enough of those for a while, too. Oh, there it is. Huh? Hello? The note said to meet inside, right? Uh, the door's unlocked. Hello? Is anyone here? I can barely see anything in front of me. Hmm? Uh. Uh, uh oh! Um, uh, are you here to make me beautiful? What is this place? And is that a giant spider? Maybe I went to the wrong place. Either way, I need to get out of here. Except it's blocking the door. Uh, it's okay, it's just a spider. I see them all the time in my room and in our palace. And it should be no different than what I say to Maria anytime she's scared of them. They don't want to hurt us. They're much more scared of us than we are of them. Then I put a cup over the spider, <laughs> and I let it out of the window on the ground floor. M maybe that could work here. Oh, and there's a cup. I'll just grab it and... Uh, right, that wasn't the best idea. Wait a second. Aren't those the brownies I brought a few days ago? Is this someone's room? Maybe the spider accidentally wandered in through that window. It looks like it's locked, though. Well, they do seem to somehow fit through even the smallest cracks, though. So I'll just sneak over, open up these shutters, and I'm sure the spider will be excited to get out and return to its habitat. It's working. Huh? N no, spider, don't run towards me. Go towards the window. My goodness, what have I done? Curtis? Come with me, Miss Gwendolyn. We need to get <gasps> out of here. Miss Gwendolyn, are you hurt anywhere? No, I I'm fine, Curtis. But what was... Curtis! Gwen? Huh? Oh. What? What's going on out here? I'm sorry, I woke everyone up. I went into this building and a giant spider was in there. But it's okay. Curtis saved me. <gasps> Did she say? Spider? Oh, I get it. G giant spider, huh? I guess it's time for me to step it up as the dude of the group. You, you, you ladies can leave it to me. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna put on some protective gear, grab a blowtorch, and when I come back, we'll burn the whole place down real quick. Gwen, huh? thank goodness you're safe. But, um... How do I say this? What were you doing in the barn? What? Gwen, don't you remember taking a vow to obey the five sacred commandments of the club? Two of them are about not going near the barn. And anyone who breaks any of the commandments is banished from the cursed princess club forever. Huh? Banished from the Cursed Princess Club? 
Forever? But I don't want to leave. There's so much more I want to do with them. What have I done? How did I not realize I was in the barn? Uh, wait, everyone! We still haven't heard from Gwen yet! I'm sure she has a good reason she was in the barn! Why were you in there, Gwen? Um, well, there are these notes that mysteriously show up in my pocket. And, and they say they just want to help me, and... Huh? That sounds like what I said when I got caught cheating on my math test. Ah, Trey Glenn! I'm really gonna miss you. I, I have them here if you'd like to see. Prez wanted me to show them to her, so I've been keeping them in my bag. Whoa! You were actually serious about that? Gwen, these are terrifying! It's sort of like you were being set up by someone to wander into the barn. Someone who knows our club's commandments and wanted to cause you harm. But who could ever do something like that? Especially to you of all people. Everyone loves you. Well, I don't think they meant me any harm. <gasps> Not now! Huh? I saw her! She went so glaring at Gwen during the slumber party and when we had lectures! Nell, how could you? That's really awful, Nell. Huh? Wait, it... I can say with uh -huh. utmost certainty that it was not Nell. She happened to spot Gwen walking through the forest and became apprehensive about where she was headed. Being too terrified of approaching the barn herself, she ran and notified me as fast as she could. It's all thanks to Nell that Gwen made it out safely. Oops. Sorry, Nell. It's okay. <laughs> Nell saved me. Besides, it seems like Miss Gwendolyn already knows who sent her those notes. Is that correct? You need to tell us! W well I really don't know for sure. But it kind of seemed like the person who sent them was... Aurelia. <gasps> what?! How could you accuse me of something like that, Gwen?! I've only talked to you once before, but I thought you were nice and we could become better friends! Uh, yeah, I don't know, Gwen. Aurelia's not even here that often. And when she is, half the time she's slapping me for doing anything disrespectful around Curtis. How do you get that from these notes? I am really, really sorry, Aurelia. It was a stupid observation I had when I was helping clean the mansion, and I came across the wishes everyone wrote down for Abby's potion. Everyone was supposed to think of something they desired if they didn't have their curse, and jot it down on a piece of paper. But one of the pieces of paper caught my eye because the handwriting matched the notes I had been receiving. Really? What did it say? Huh. Oh? It, it said they wanted to experience their first kiss, but- oh, Really? That was your logic for accusing me? I mean, that's like everyone here. We're all a bunch of rejected virgin princesses. <laughs> Speak for yourself, sister. Hmm. Yeah, it wasn't so much what the note said, but... In the instructions for Abby's potion, everyone was supposed to kiss the paper to activate the spell. But this one had disintegrated the paper where the kiss was, and the only person I knew who could do that was... Aurelia. The handwriting does match exactly. The biggest question I have, though, is... Why do you have such creepy handwriting, Aurelia? Uh, I regret everything about that whole potion experience. But whatever. Just because you shame my penmanship, it doesn't mean anything. Hmm. That would account for something I observed as well. <gasps> I had been wondering how Miss Gwendolyn broke through the numerous locks on the barn. But when I evacuated us out and shut the door, I noticed that each lock had been corroded or melted in some way I couldn't quite put my finger on. So, um, you didn't like, with your mouth, Aurelia? <laughs> All criminal activity aside, uh, if you made uh, out with those locks, you gotta give me a high five. I didn't make <laughs> out with the locks! I licked bobby pins and put them... <gasps> Aurelia? Fine. It was me. I was the one who wrote the notes and dropped them when no one was looking. Or when Gwen wasn't around. 
But I never meant for Gwen to get hurt. I didn't know what was in the barn. No one's told me. I just knew that if Gwen went into the barn, she would be breaking the rules of the club and she'd have to leave. Leave? Uh, but why don't you want Gwen in our club? Why? Because she's not cursed! Uh, so why do we all continue to let her come here? You have all these other princesses who've been relegated to the back of the club. They should be getting the spotlight, not her! Um, no, I'm all right. Uh, I don't really like a lot of attention. But no, Gwen constantly gets advice and special parties, and she gets to decide lecture themes. Uh, is that really a perk, though? The point is that she doesn't belong here. She's not cursed. She's just ugly. <laughs> Whoa, hold up. Uh, Gwen, you already have everything. A fiance, a loving family, so you want to know how to become beautiful? All you have to do is grow out your bangs, put on some heavy makeup, and stop sewing toddler clothes for yourself! Hey! Get away from Gwen! And some of us like our toddler clothing, you know? <sighs> Just help yourself for once, Gwen! Huh? I know Presley's at every opportunity to fix things for you with a long talk and a group hug. But guess what? She's not here now! So just go back home and- Sorry to interrupt, uh, but... Did someone say group hug? <gasps> P-Prez! Uh, hey there, kiddo. Would you mind leaving the two of us to have a little chat? Why don't you join the rest of your clubmates? Um, uh, okay. Gwen, get over here, quickly! <gasps> the rest of my clubmates? Gwen, please don't listen to what Aurelia said! <laughs> you heard, Prez! You're a club member! Don't ever forget it! Really? Do I really get to stay in the club? But... What about... Aurelia. Uh. You have no idea how angry I am about what you did to Gwen. I... I'm sorry for what I did, but I stand by what I said. Gwen doesn't belong in the Cursed Princess Club. She doesn't even fulfill the fundamental rule of being cursed. It's never been a commandment that someone needs to be cursed to be in the Cursed Princess Club. But you know what is? Assisting others. And you violated that by purposefully putting Gwen in harm's way and tricking her to go into the barn. Y you heard that? When did you get here? What do you mean? I was here the entire time. In the barn. What? No, you weren't. They said there was a giant spider in there that... <gasps> what? In the barn, th that... that was... Don't go anywhere near the barn. Just, uh, scurry on home and don't come back for about a week, okay? Club activities are also gonna shut down for a while. <coughs> no, it couldn't have been... Aurelia. The rules in the club aren't made in order to kick people out if they don't blindly follow them. They're there to keep everyone here as safe as possible. And that's why Gwen has every right to remain. But I have to banish you from the Cursed Princess Club forever. What? No, you can't. This is the only place I'm allowed to go to outside of my palace. And this is where Renee is. She's my best friend. You can't do this! I promise you'll regret it! I'm really sorry, Aurelia. This isn't a decision I enjoy making. But I must give you this warning. Don't even think of trying to do anything to expose or harm this club. Because from now on, they'll always be keeping their eyes on you. And they tell me everything. <laughs> you have until sundown today to be out of the forest. Mm. <clears throat> Renee, you understand, right? I... I was doing this for you. <laughs> <clears throat> Hmm. Fine. See ya. Uh, so... 
Does anyone want to play charades or something? I don't think I can go back to sleep right now. Wow! Well, I don't think I can ever sleep again! So no forgive me for accusing you for cleric and Glenn! Uh huh? Mm -hmm. I, I said it was fine. No, it's not fine! I totally wasn't thinking about your curse! You were glaring at Gwen! You were trying to warn her! Warn me? Oh, of course! Huh? You're such a sweetie now! Uh, what? No, I was glaring at Gwen! Because she's always clinging to Jolie and that's my girlfriend she's touching! Uh, I'm sorry. Can you say that again? Uh. Uh, no, I thought you wanted to keep things quiet. <laughs> I didn't mean to make you jealous. You should have told me. C clinging? When did I? <laughs> huh? <laughs> You're a little home wrecker, Gwen. I I really didn't mean to. Wait, Nell, can I ask what your curse is? Uh, no. I'm gonna follow after her. I think we'll have to let her tell you about her curse some other night, Gwen. Oh, that's fine. Perhaps you'll huh? settle for hearing about my curse tonight? R really It's the very least I owe to you after everything that's happened. All right, everyone, hmm? take a seat and be quiet. Perez doesn't tell this story often, so you don't want to miss it. Curtis? Can we get some popcorn, please? <gasps> okay, everyone, I'm back! Huh? And I'm ready to squash that stupid spider! Where is it? Just sit down, Saffron. Huh? 